welcome back to another video with Jess. Today we are going to be filming a updated makeup look. If you would like to see my updated makeup routine, <laughs> please carry on watching. So, first thing we're going to do is just put a bit of moisture. Oh no, we're going to put my headband on first. Alright, so we're going to put the headband over the head. <laughs> And take the hair at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And then pull it up. I think it's on back to front, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's a very cute headband. Either way around. Yeah, the ears looking very good there. Just to keep the hair out of my face. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with just some moisturizer. We like to keep the skin nice and moisturized, especially in summertime. Okay. Like plenty of moisturizer. This is a simple moisturizer, by the way. Like plenty of moisturizer in summer, especially when you're being out in the sun. Nothing worse than dry skin. Just yeah, I'm gonna put that back on there just a little bit. Rub that on between my hands first, then <laughs> rub it on my face. Yeah, rub it on all over, up the forehead, on the nose. Yeah. Yeah, give it a good slap. Just push it right into those pores. <laughs> yeah, all right, down the neck. So we don't want a wrinkly neck. Ooh. And next thing we're gonna move on to is we're just gonna use some glowy drops. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Primark. Um, these are the lightning. These are the illuminating highlighting drops. These are in quite a dark shade, so I just use a tiny little bit of these. Um, and just put some of these on all over after I've put my <laughs> moisturizer around. Yeah, pat them in. <laughs> pat them in all over the place. It's really, it doesn't look good when you have like streaks of these, especially when they're so dark. Okay, so next thing we're going to move on to is going to start the base makeup and foundation. So... This is the Revolution Stick Foundation in F7. Um, and yeah, just gonna, we have to roll the end of the foundation. <laughs> Go roll it up, yep. Okay, a little bit on the chin there. <laughs> on the jeans. <laughs> just one stripe will do, just all over the fit, yeah. And a good one across the forehead there. I don't like doing too full coverage so just put a little bit of it on you and blend that in with beauty blender mm -hmm. all the way across the mouth <laughs> love a good concealer lip moment mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just make sure that's all blended in so now we've got base on we're gonna go for concealer this is the wake me up Concealer from Rimmel. There's not much of this left in. Just put a little bit on the chin. I use this usually under my eyes, but obviously if I've got some spots as well, I'll also cover up them. Yeah, plenty under the eyes and in the middle of the forehead. <laughs> Just for that overall sculpted look, like really brighten up them areas and blend that in. Yeah, blend that in under the chin, under the eyes. We don't want any creasing under the eyes. It's important to dab up it really well. <laughs> and again, all over the rest of the face as well. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to set all this down. And we're going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in shade 3, Peachy Glow. Just going to use a little bit of this because I'm quite pale well not pale this is quite pale for me at the moment and if I put a bit too much on it washes me out so just a tiny little bit yep across the eyelids under the eyes and around the uh, jawline especially I don't want to get oily around the jawline okay so now we're gonna add a bit of color back into my face with bronzer to start off with and that's a blusher brush reach further no that's still the blusher brush <laughs> okay this is the a uh, Kiko <laughs> bronzer. This is in lovely packaging. Um, 
um, and it smells like chocolate. My favourite bronzer I think I've ever had. And just on the ear, really. <laughs> I love to have a glowy ear. And on the top lip, yep. Yeah. I usually keep this to my cheeks, but at the moment, like in summer, we want that all, all over glow, yeah. Just a little bit of contouring, so just a bit under the cheeks and down the nose, yeah. Really bronzed up nose, and then a little bit on the temples and the eyebrow, yeah, and the jawline as well. Really chisel out that jawline, okay? So then we're gonna do blusher, okay? This is a freedom blusher palette. This is quite an old palette, as you can tell, it's a bit worn away. Um, these colors inside, there's a lovely range in there. There's a highlighter shade, and then yeah, we just mix them all together put them on the cheeks yeah right there in the middle of the cheek yep yeah. and on the top lip <laughs> and <laughs> the other cheek right on the apples of the cheeks i feel like blusher brings back a lovely um healthy glow along with your bronzer <laughs> and put them down okay next thing <laughs> <laughs> Next thing is highlighter. This is the MUA highlighter. This is a gold colour. Um, <laughs> I would quite like a brush right now. Just swirl that around in there. Just a little bit on the cheekbones. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit. This is a really nice highlight. Um, it's a really light glow and it's not too shimmery. A bit on the cupid's bow and the rest of the forehead eyeshadow we're doing next <laughs> got a brush and i got a palette and um, this is a uh, profusion mixed metals palette <laughs> what are you doing? right just gonna get a bit of this shimmer shade tap that off we don't want it too bold and on the cheeks <laughs> And then we're going to get some more of it. I find my eye first, yeah, and then on the eye. And stretch it out. Just really elongate the eyes across. Yeah, really pulling it out right underneath that brow bone. It's important to fully <laughs> cover the area. Okay. Yeah, and on the cheeks as well. Because I, sometimes I find like a bit of eyeshadow helps bring out the um, highlighter. Okay, and add this base shade on top of all that, under the eyes as well, right up to the eyebrows, all over, just a big circular motion, yeah, under the eyes and blend it out, around like that, okay, so we're done with the eyeshadow, <laughs> okay, next thing we're going to do is eyebrows, so I'm going to get the eyebrow gel, yep. Uh, this is from MUA as well. This is just the Define Brow Gel in blonde. And I've recently just tinted my eyebrows, so they don't really need much doing to them. I'll just put a little bit of that eyebrow gel on there to really fluff them up. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and the eyelashes. <laughs> Maybe I'll put the eyebrow gel on a bit higher up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, done with the eyebrows. I don't really fill them in anymore. I just used that eyebrow gel. So then we're going to move on to mascara to finish off the eyes. There we go. All right. This is Lash Surge Mascara from Collection. This is actually a very cheap mascara. It's only 4 99 but it's very good. It's, um... <laughs> Just like to be certain of where my eyes are before I put this on because you know mascara can be dangerous. Um, this is a very volumizing and lengthening mascara, and I very much do like this mascara. <laughs> okay, and put that right on the eyelashes, maybe down a little bit <laughs> on the nose. Okay. <laughs> Now we've put now we've put a bit of mascara on. Okay. 
Um, this is quite a natural look today. I don't like to go too over the top. So we're just going to stick with a nude lip. So I'll get my lip liner. This is the NYX lip liner. And it's quite a nice nude um, brownie colour. Yeah. And just, I don't like to overline my lips too much. So just a little bit under the lip. And then on top. <laughs> just overline it a little bit but not too much yeah and then fill in the lips a little bit because you don't want <laughs> and on the teeth because you don't want any harsh lines just blend it on in mm -hmm. yeah blend it in a bit with my fingers yeah okay and then finally we're gonna go in with some lip gloss just to bring the whole look together <laughs> this is actually a Fenty lip gloss, and I think this is in the shade Fenty Glow. <laughs> Actually, the most expensive lip gloss I oh, but this is also a nice nude colour, but it's quite sheer. Um, yeah, it's very. This one actually tastes really nice. It's got a lovely scent to it. Okay. And that is the finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. I will try and link some products down below. But yeah, I hope you like the update of the routine. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Do you know what I look like? <laughs> Reach. <laughs>